So, fast cure resin with the Petri effect. We are going to check it out. Let's go. We are back. It's been too long. Um, apologies, especially to my members. Um, some of you may have seen on my Discord a few weeks ago, I've kind of been struggling with my mental health. On new meds now, so new year. Let's just <laughs> try and leave that behind and let's crack on. So in today's video, Let's Resin have sent me Fast Cure Resin. Apparently you can demold in four hours. Now on video 82, I think it was, with the collaboration resin, my resin, I managed with the heat mat, which you can see just under this mold, to cure that resin in around two hours. So I'm going to be testing this new fast cure resin today. One with a heat mat, because if it cures, if it, if you could demold it in four hours, I'm just intrigued as to whether we can get around about one hour. Um, but we're using alcohol ink, so I'm expecting the alcohol inks to take a little bit longer to cure. So you get your part A and part B in the box. What else have we got in there? Some mixing cups. Always handy. Lots of stirring sticks. I do prefer the rubber ones. Um, some gloves. Tweezers. Sorry, I should put it. Pipettes. These are really handy to have. Don't know why they've got tweezers in there. But always handy to keep hold of. Lots of stirring sticks. Right, let's have a quick look at the instructions because I did see there is a recommended temperature. Can't remember what it was. There you go, working temperature around 30 degrees Celsius, 86 degrees Fahrenheit. My room temperature's a bit lower than that, but we'll, we'll see. But it's going to depend on where you are anyway and the temperatures. I know the US have had some really bad cold spurts, so I hope it hasn't affected your festive period and your new year. I hope everyone is safe. Right, let's get mixing. So I've poured in 40 ml of part A, which I did need to warm up because it was quite cold and the instructions do say to warm part A up and then 40 ml of part B. And this is really, really thick. So the viscosity is a lot different. So I'm just wondering whether the, the sinker white for the Petri effect is actually going to penetrate through this before the resin cures. Because ordinarily the, the sinker white needs around about what I found around 40 minutes to an hour to start working so I'd be interested to see the difference between the heat mat side which can the heat can lower the viscosity you know I'm just intrigued as to whether this is going to work or not so um, another thing I have been locked out of my discord so I went in to check because I had a notification from one of my tier 2 members so i went into reply yesterday and i have been logged out um, on both my phone and my laptop i've tried to use the codes that was given for the two-way security thing and they are no longer working so i've had to email support so i'm hoping i can regain access to that i'm not sure what has happened but i have no access to my discord at present i'm just really hoping that support can help me out so i can get back in and and reply to those messages i've got lots of messages on here as well i do apologize as i said <laughs> i have been struggling so bear with me guys this is really thick really thick right i'm going to stir this off camera and we'll start pouring once it's ready right we're almost mixed and i noticed this obviously the resin cures quicker depending on the depth so we're probably looking at around eight millimeters time so demolding six to eight hours and i found with my resin i can normally at room temperature without a heat mat demolding that time anyway so again i'm going to be intrigued as to the results that we get and this is taking quite a while to to get streak free because it is quite thick I've got quite a few bubbles in there as well Right, let's give my moulds a quick spray. As always, massive shout out to my channel members. Thank you again for hanging around and being patient with me. 
and thanks to anyone who's bought a super thanks or a coffee. I think that's ready to go. There's a lot of bubbles in there. But I'm just going to pour this off camera. I'm just going to show you this one. Look at how thick this resin is to pour. If you can see that really is really is thick. Really high viscosity. This is going to be different. <laughs> okay, we are poured. Still got lots of micro bubbles, but a lot of them have gone now. So we're using the 26 ink alcohol insert as always. All the links in the description box below. And as always, in this bottle here is the Let's Resin CD per sinker white, which gives us the effect. I just put it into this needle tip bottle. So I'm going to dig out the colours that I want to use. And what I'm going to do on this one is just keep one clear just to see whether it cures quicker than the alcohol inks do. So let's just drop, it doesn't matter what colours, as long as they don't clash. But it does help if your inks come out. There we go. And they're really not, that's not spreading the way that my inks normally do. So I can see a difference already. But that can change when we add the white. We shall see. I'm just going to drop any colour. Really not spreading the same. Very different. Emerald green. Yeah, look at that. Really not spreading out. Yellow green. That one has. You see that one spreading? Must just depend on the concentration of the inks. Let's take it down a little bit further. Whilst I've got the lemon yellow out. A sapphire blue see that is spreading really nicely let's go with some dark indigo it seems the darker the color the less it's spreading then we got one more at the top I didn't mix too much because I didn't want to waste it in case the the effect didn't work Dark magenta. Let's go have a cerulean. And then I'm going to shake up my white. We've got some negative space down here. So let's fill that with some more yellow because that is spreading. He says. <laughs> right now, I've our sink of white. Give it a good shake. Well, hopefully these inks will start to spread out once I put the sinker on, on top. Still got some negative space. To anyone new, negative space means empty voids. Look at the colour though. So the sinker white gives us a really nice textured effect once we demold. Normally, be interested to see if it works in this because it is very thick. It's probably the thickest resin I've ever used. But it's a really nice colouring, especially in this one. I might leave that space. Okay, over to the next one. I'm not going to bother matching the colours exactly the same. A, because I've forgotten. <laughs> and B, because it's more about the curing time than exact colour matches. 
So once I've dropped my inks in this mold, I will turn the heat mat on and we will then take a time check and do the math. Once it's done, some red if it wants to come out. See what I do, I'm my own worst enemy because I tend to dip my nibs in the resin, which then obviously cures on the bottle. <laughs> You'd think I'd have learnt my lesson by now, but I don't. So that was the azure blue. Where's the cerulean gone? Let's go turquoise. Squirting everywhere. Now the cerulean. It's very close to the turquoise, very similar colour. Let's go with an orange. Just try not to put it close to that cerulean. If it does start to get close, we can use a yellow to kind of form a barrier. Almost out, that bottle is probably a drop left. Let's go with a bit of sapphire blue, just in the middle. It's gonna muddy with that orange, I know. So, the top one we are keeping clear, just to see. I could have put some glitter in it, but it's too late now. Some of these colours are going to muddy. It's been that long, I've forgotten how to do resin. <laughs> okay, so the stirring times are going to be very different. As we all know, I like to stir my resin around about one hour. I've never used this resin before, so things are going to be different. So I'm going to have to keep coming back, doing time checks, put my inks away, and yeah, just jotting things down, taking notes. So the time now is just gone one o'clock. So say one o'clock, it's a couple of minutes that aren't really going to matter, are they? So I'm going to turn on the heat map, which is this side. Move this one away so there's no heat touching that mold. So it's one o'clock. I'm going to keep coming back and checking, and I'll let you know what's going on. See you shortly. Quick time check. It's about 15 minutes. So it was a couple of minutes after one o'clock. I just wanted to show you when I said about the heat changing the viscosity of the resin. So if I do a a dip test in this one here, you see those bubbles. Don't worry about those. Not much of a stringy strand, is there? Stringy strand. But compared to the ones over here with no heat. A bit of fluff stuck to my stick. You can see it's still quite thick on this side. So the heat is lowering the viscosity of the resin on the left side. Which can be a good thing because the sinker white will find it easier to sink, if that makes sense. So, but what that is also doing is speeding up the curing process. So it's a lower viscosity than the cool ones, but what that's doing is it's, it's speeding up the curing process by doing that. So it means that it's warmer. So, again, just gone 15 minutes. We'll be back shortly for the stir. I, I think. Probably about another five or ten minutes for the stir. Okay, time check. It's been about 30 minutes since we added our inks. So now we're just going to do our stir. I want to do it now just in case I miss the timings. Again, you can see that stringy 
consistency. I'm just hoping the sink of white has actually given us some texture. Time will tell. Really like the colours in this one. I can't see any sporing yet. I see some of the white here. It's kind of spread out a bit. But it's whether it has actually gone down into the resin. Could add some black to these, I suppose, but that would probably slow down the demold time. So you can see this one is a lot looser still. It's a lot lower viscosity because of that heat. Maybe I could have come back and stirred these ones a little bit later. But we all know how things can change. This could change in a matter of 10 minutes. It could start going really thick. Okay. So do I add some black now? I think, I think I should. Let's just do it. Actually, no, I'm gonna wait for it to thicken up just in case it lifts those colors because that is quite a low viscosity. The black could lift the colors away from the resin. So I'm gonna give it probably about another 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, sorry there's lots of cuts, but I thought I'd just update as I go along. So it's been about 25 minutes since I did the stir, and I just wanted to show you. I mean, I was expecting, we're coming up to one hour since we added our inks. I was expecting to be quite firm and solid by now, but it's really thick and stringy now. So it is hitting that, that kind of, curing time now you can see so it is curing fairly quick considering this the viscosity changed on this side not much of a difference you can just see that where I've dipped it's taken a little while to to go back to normal but I am going to add the, the black ink it's probably going to slow down. I might only do it on this one here. It might slow down the curing, but we'll see. And again, it's not spreading very well. I could have added it after the stir, but the trouble is, like I said, I didn't want it to lift. And what I do is I'll probably just add it to this one here as well. Let's see if it spreads a bit differently on this one. It's spreading a bit better. But I'm going to carry on and just cover these and we will be back shortly once I notice a difference. So it's been one hour, just under one hour. I will see you soon. And it has actually only been less than a minute, around about a minute. I've been trying to cover this one with the, the black alcohol ink and what I've realised is it is actually hard. It's after one hour. I mean, it's a bit soft in some areas, but this one's not as hard. So we really are close to demold. So this clear one up here is still quite, I don't know, I've only just done that. That's how quick it's turned. I only just dipped that. You can see it's a bit stringy in areas. That really is fast. I know we're using the heat map, but that's, that's, I, 
we're talking probably another 15 minutes or so, 20 minutes tops for a demold, which is a total of about an hour and 20 minutes, if I'm correct. On this side, it's gonna take a little bit longer because we haven't got that heat to, that's basically sped things up. So we'll be back soon. So we've just hit around about the 90 minute mark since we added our inks. Now, the heat mat side, I can demold some of them, but you can see around the outside, it's still a little bit soft on some of them. So I think I'm gonna have to leave it for a little bit longer. Just see, it's still quite soft and gooey around the outside. That's because of the alcohol inks. Let me test the one that we didn't put anything in. Yeah, you can see it's, it's stretching the the resin. Now the side that we didn't heat, obviously it's going to take longer. But let's just see if we can touch the backs. No, it's still quite tacky. Yeah, nowhere near ready compared to the other side. So I'm going to give it another half an hour. One hour, 45 minutes, I'm going to demold these. I could wait a little bit longer, but I'm too impatient. But did we get the effect of the peat tree? Yes. Look at that. So it's very close to my two hour mark with the collaboration resin using the heat, heat map. But for those who haven't got the heat mat, it would be interesting to see how long the the normal ones take to cure. But look at that, you've got some spores. Again, the heat has aided that sinker to penetrate through that really high viscosity resin mix. But some really nice colours in there. So, a positive outcome. Some really good spores in there. Just see the depth. Some nice colours as well. I should, I, I could have really waited and just shown them all at the end, but again with this one, the black is kind of still a little bit tacky because I added it so late. So just be a bit more patient. There you go. Once that is cured fully on the back, I can always trim that down or top it up. That's a really good detail. I always love the black with the blue. It does make the blue pop. It's very transparent, this one. What's happened there? Oh, that's off my glove where I've just touched that black one. That will clean off with some alcohol. Let's give that a quick clean up. Some isopropanol on a, a bit of paper. And there we have it. Really fairy. But still, good effects for the time as well. If you're impatient. But again, it's very close to the, the heat map with the regular two-part collaboration resin. Let's have a test on these. Still think they're going to be very tacky. We're getting close. But I'd say probably another hour or so for those. See you shortly. I forgot to show the clear one. <laughs> but I can't see any bubbles. Again, where I've tested the to see whether it is ready, I've kind of stretched the back of the resin so it has marked it. But it is pretty clear. Right, I'll see you for the rest. Okay, it is actually the following day. Um, I was really busy yesterday. But I did write everything down. So this side took seven hours to cure. 
and I know it's not at the recommended temperature that's in the um, instructions it was a bit cooler in here so I think that is the reason why it took longer but I can normally demold my collaborators in around about the same kind of time without heat um, and watching back that video I think it like I said before earlier in the video video 82 with the collaborators in where I use the heat mat um, I showed I could demold those in one hour 45 minutes so with this resin and the same test same temperature on the heat mat on full blast still one hour 45 minutes for these so i'm not really seeing a difference but that could be due to the depth of the pieces that i'm using so the deeper the pieces it, it does say that it can cure in four hours that must be a heat thing um, due to the curing process so we're going to see what we've got on this side anyway they did take that seven hours to cure, as mentioned. As always, give the video a thumbs up, drop me a comment. Like I said, I've got quite a few comments to um, to reply to still, so bear with me. And before I start showing the results, I did regain access to my Discord last night. Um, that's why I, c I couldn't finish the video. I was so engrossed in trying to get back my access i didn't realize that i had an authentication app with my code stored in which is good because we're now back in so those are the results we've got some deep spores in the center really dark in color almost like a space vibe shame about that window so that is that one You can see my, my fingerprints where I kept coming back and testing it. It did stay soft for quite some time. Wow. Bit jaggedy on the stir, but I think I could have stirred a little bit later on that one. Well, on these ones. But never mind, it was a test. I do actually prefer the ones on the heat mat side, but I think that is just merely the colorings that were used compared to these ones but yeah not really that I've noticed much of a difference and I think they are the same price the the, the fast cure resin I think it's $22 the same cost as the collab resin but I think there's a couple of ounces less in the fast cure but again try it with deeper pores and see what you get that's a really nice one I like that good colouring Good spores there. Sunk a bit deeper around the edges. I think that sinker just had a bit more time to to penetrate through. Last one. Oh, my mould's lost its shine. That's a shame. That's a big shame. I'll have to order some more moulds. Right, well there you go. I'll try and upload another video soon. Again, hit that sub button for me hit the notification bell so you're made aware of when i upload next and i'll see you for the next one bye for now